I'm ready to go. All right. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about zero wasting, veganism, environmentalism and pretty much everything that interests us. In today's video I want to talk about 10 different zero waste items that are great to have in your kitchen. I have already made one other video about my kitchen so if you want to see a full kitchen tour then go check it out. The link will be somewhere up here. Alright and now without further introductions let's just get straight into the 10 zero waste kitchen essentials. Number one is a metallic tea container. This is essential if in real zero waste fashion you have bought some loose leaf tea and you want to make a cup of tea for yourself, then just grab this, put some loose leaves in it, pour some hot water onto it and there you go. Dispose of the loose leaf tea into your bio waste or a composting jar or wherever you usually put this kind of waste. Number two is a mixer for smoothies. So as I've shown you before, I have this great mixer that I can make smoothies with, and of course you can use it for other things as well, but this is not one of the most effective ones. So I can't make peanut butter with this, for example, or other nut butters, but you can do a lot of different smoothies with this. Just put whatever you want in there and put it on for 30 seconds, and then you have amazing smoothies. This mixer is great because then you don't have to buy smoothies from the store and it's easy to consume bigger amounts of fruits. Number three is this kind of blender. As I've shown you in previous videos, I have made hummus with this, but you can also use it for making pesto or a soup. You can make different spreads on your bread. It is very versatile and then you don't have to buy those things from the store. Number four is a cloth or kitchen swipes. So with this you can swipe all the surfaces you have and you don't have to use paper towels. Number five is refillable dishwashing liquid or detergent. So this one you can refill at certain stores where they provide that service and then you can use your own bottles to refill that again and again. It's great if you do have a store like this close to you, but if you don't, you can also buy a piece of soap that serves the same purpose. So there are different kinds of soap pieces that have the same kind of effect than actual dishwashing detergent. We do have a dishwashing machine, but I do wash some of my dishes per hand just because they are too big for the machine or they are quicker and easier to wash right away. Number six is a reusable baking sheet. And straight off the bat, a disclaimer, I am not sure how environmentally friendly these are. I have not researched this enough because they do have a Teflon cover on them. So the surface is made out of Teflon and then there might be some dangerous materials underneath it, some plastic, some chemicals. So if you break the surface of the sheet, it might leak through, which is why I'm not sure how healthy these are to use. So I have used my reusable baking sheet for over six months now and it has been great and I still don't think it has a cut in it. But as I said, I cannot be sure how much I recommend this. Anyway, baking sheet is great to have because then you can make your own muesli and oven vegetables and all those kind of things. Number seven are refillable spices and herbs. So I have gone to stores that actually sell refillable herbs and gotten them into my own little jars so that I don't buy new packaging with them. And some of the herbs I have also just dried myself. A great way to get salt and pepper is to buy them in glass bottles that you can then refill into your own salt and pepper grinders and that way you only have the glass waste. And if you cook a lot like I do, then it's great to have some herbs. Number eight is jars for bulk food. So if you have the opportunity to go to a zero waste shop near you where you do have bulk food, then please consider buying things in bulk because there you avoid packaging altogether. Number nine is boxes for food. So by this I mean Tupperware, containers that you can use for meal prepping and remember to use the ones you have 
first and only if you don't have them or they are bad or too small or something is actually wrong with them then go buy new ones or buy them recycled or used. Now I'm actually going to show you what I would use the three last ones that I mentioned for. So I will show you how I use the herbs, jars and boxes in my cooking routine. I start by cutting up some vegetables and usually onion, but this time I didn't have onion so I only have garlic here and some zucchini. Then I fry the garlic, add the zucchini to it or other vegetables that I might have. And don't forget to boil the rice at the same time. Then I would add the tomato sauce, which can also be homemade by the way, I just did not have time to make some myself this time. Then I add the protein, which in this one is lentils. Then I would start adding some spices and herbs to it. I usually use quite a lot of herbs. Then just mixing it, stirring it, and then let it boil for about 10 minutes at least. And when it's ready, I put it on a plate with rice and the tomato sauce. And then some nutritional yeast and herbs on top. And that's how I use all of these products in my cooking routine. Number 10 is vegan bee wax paper. Or other reusable things that you can use instead of tin foil and cling film. So if you've cooked something, you can use this to cover up your plate or a bowl or whatever you have the food in. And that's it, those were my 10 Zero Waste Kitchen Essentials. Now I want to tell you that this might be my last video in English for a while, because I do want to make more Finnish videos so that I can speak directly to my target audience. But don't worry, I might still get English subtitles on my Finnish videos, so that also my friends who don't speak Finnish can follow my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe to my channel if you like watching these and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!